the legendary director, probably the number one director in the world, James Cameron of Titanic, and of course Avatar fame, has announced that he's going to move permanently to New Zealand and live there on a the farm. Why is that? Well, I've told you for at least five years that my contacts in the global elite and wealthy of the United States and Europe are basically engaged in a mass exodus to New Zealand, the Cook Islands, and other areas because in their words, talking to a major defense contractor owner, there won't be a United States once this takes place. America funded the world government, will take the blame for the New World Order's crimes, but is slated, in their words, to not exist when it's done. Does that mean total collapse, rioting, uh, total martial law, nuclear war? I don't know. But this is what the system is gearing up for. This is what they're getting ready for. And I've got right here the Associated Press article, James Cameron plans move to New Zealand. I'll show you that story. There it is right there. Now, I've got another report here, and I'm about to unveil something pretty big here that's important, because you know I don't use profanity because I have a wide vocabulary and don't need it, and they say it's the crutch of the uh, ignorant mf -er. But look at this. In California, nuclear plant closed after radiation leak. They had another plant leaking earlier in the week. And it goes on to say some radioactive steam got released. It's been shut down, but don't worry about it. This is a new attitude. This is a new level of propaganda that we see being pushed against society. In fact, I'm dubbing it the bullshit scenario because that's what it is in English. It's a society of bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, DU wasn't allowed to be used until 1990 because whoever scrubbed the tank barrels would get a lethal dose. Just say it's healthy for you. Well, everybody die of cancer that's exposed to it. That's called the bullshit factor, and it's killing people. So if you're upset by words, go to hell. I'm done playing games. Oh, I've talked to Dr. Busby, all these other big famous nuclear physicists and chemists and the rest of it about radiation. It's going up all over the world. And first the U.S. government raised levels, the Japanese government raised levels, and said, oh, 100,000 times this isotope is safe. All the studies show it kills every mammal within just a few years that comes in contact with it. Now we've got meltdowns in Canada, meltdowns in Europe, articles about radiation levels off the charts in Russia, Europe, Asia, uh, China, uh, Japan, the United States. And it's just, hey, it's fine. The bureaucrats said it's fine. These bureaucrats think they're BS. We'll make them and their families okay. The GMO food the globalists intended to reduce population and, 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 and things is killing them. It's killing the honeybees. It's the BS factor. We got Bill Gates, this eugenicist, coming out and saying, we'll sterilize men with ultrasound, but I love you, so take this vaccine. I want to take good care of you. It's getting crazier and crazier and crazier. And the elites that hear the other elites telling them this, and I've talked to some of them off record, are going, are you kidding? You're planning to release a super flu? Have you noticed, I told you this years ago, that when they start hyping, oh, the government weaponized flu, it kills over 90% that get it. Oh, they weaponized Ebola, it kills over 90% that get it. Oh, they weaponized a, a mouse pox for humans, it kills 99%. When they start telling you, oh, all these labs have it, it's about to get released. You know, all these shows about the end of humanity and how nostalgic it'll be when we're all dead and the government's building bunkers everywhere. And all the rich are moving to bunkers in New Zealand. James Cameron's leaving. Now, I don't know if they're going to pull the trigger on this, but it's freaked out enough people that for five years they've been hauling butt. See, see, I'll cuss if it gets your attention. If that's what it takes to get you to wake up about people coughing their lungs up and dying from the DU and the rest of it, I'll do it. It's a culture of bullshit, and I'm sick of it, and I'm tired of it. BS will not protect you from radiation. BS will not protect you from World War III or aspartame poisoning or MSG poisoning or the U.S. with the highest cancer rate, thousands of percentage points off the chart growing or, or all these other neurological disorders and diabetes and everything else. We're a cursed people. We're a cursed people. We kill 51 plus million babies since Roe v. Wade and tell ourselves they're not humans. Well, you know what the globalists say? You're not human either. Okay, so the elite are evacuating. 
America has helped sell the New World Order. All this is happening, and I'm here warning you. This culture of bull about, so what about checks and balances, Bill of Rights, Constitution, go ahead and take the pension funds, whatever. This is going to destroy us. What's going to happen in this country and worldwide is going to make Nazi Germany look like a cakewalk and the Soviet nightmare a cakewalk. We got to stop the BS. We got to stop lying to ourselves and realize how much trouble we're in and that a bunch of foreign banks are robbing us blind and run our government and have us in debt to them because they created all the derivatives fraud. I'm done. I'm done. But enough of the BS. If you want slavery and death, then publicly say you like it. And as for the Super Bowl and the whole TSA groping thing, what a joke, you so-called men. Well, our whole republic's dying. And people are dying everywhere from these engineered diseases. You're talking about how you're a man because you watch a bunch of roidhead gang members run around on a field. You make me sick. That's it. I'm done talking to you. The ball's in your court. No more games.